Individual awards. Yeah. Steak dinner. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Individual awards. MVP. Who you see? I'm going to go Josh Allen. Yeah. Um, first off, he could have been last year. I just think, you know, again, the way they're going to play, the style of football, it's just going to lead for him big stats. Plus, I think their schedule is tough, tougher this year. Yeah. Well, they don't even have to lean on him more to be aggressive in the fourth quarter and, and win games that way. I've got Tom Brady. I couldn't give him the Super Bowl, but I'll give Tom the yeah. MVP. Yeah, I could see that. Offensive player of the year, let's begin in the AFC. Well, Offensive player of the year. I Actually, mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, so it's just it's for everybody. Right. There you go. The it's entire okay. NFL. I went with Christian McCaffrey here. It's a chalk pick. But I, as you know, I'm expecting the Panthers to be good. And in the playoffs, they have weapons everywhere. You're not going to just be able to focus on him. And I just think he's going to have a huge year receiving and rushing. My pick is Derrick Henry. Yeah. To make myself yeah. go against the quarterback. He, well, yeah, he was certainly in the running for me, too. Defensive player of the year. Um, I'm going to go – I mean – I've picked Miles Garrett, I think, for the last three years straight. That's my name. Yeah. Uh, so I've given up. He keeps he keeps failing me. <laughs> Aaron Donald, of course, is the guy yeah. that we know in the leader house. I'm going to go with Devin White of the Bucks. I'm just going to go. Love their defense pick. is good. They're yeah. going to be in front in a yes. lot of games. He's going to get some picks and some sacks and some forced fumbles. Be disruptive Have as that, hell like, in Bobby some huge Wagner games. Type yeah. year. Right. That's where I'm going to go. Devin White. I'm mad at myself for not making that pick. All right. <laughs> Offensive rookie of the year. All right. I'm going Mac Jones. Yeah. I mean, I picked the Patriots to be the fifth team in the AFC in the playoffs. So you're a rookie quarterback and your team's in the playoffs as a five seed. And it's, I don't think it's going to be to the point where they manage him to where they're like, we ran it 54 times this game. No, he's still going to have a big say in their success. So I'm going Mac. Najee Harris here. Yeah, okay. Going to have over 1,000 yards for yeah. a team that goes to the playoffs. Like it. Defensive rookie of the year. I'm going with the guy that popped the most to me, and that's Michael Parsons of the, the Cowboys. First off, he's in a scheme that just allows him to just fly around and make tackles and do that. And – Honestly, you heard me say from the get-go of the draft, him, Caleb Farley, Jalen Collins, I think were uh, clearly the three best defensive players in the draft. You could have taken them in the top five or six. Uh, I'll go Micah Parsons. I have Sertan, Patrick Sertan, Ooh, cornerback out too. of Denver. He's set up very well there on an Looks awesome defense. Yes. They're going to have some big games. I think they, they play against the AFC North and the NFC East. Yeah, uh, you are a lot right. of people will be watching. So. Definitely. Got a pass rush. Going to force the quarterbacks to throw it quick. He's being coached by a great secondary guy in Fangio. I, that's a good pick by you. Coach of the year. I'm going. It came to me for two NFC South ones. I mean, Matt Rule, right? If they got in, but Sean Payton is what I'm going to pick. You know, I got them one going to the playoffs. They already got this hurricane shit they got to deal with, <laughs> so they're out of like their facility for a month. No Drew Brees, yeah. still getting the playoffs. I just think it sets up for him to be coach of the year. I've already praised him. I said, I mean, we, we've always thought of him as really good the last Definitely. decade plus. I think he's going to be even better this year. My 1A next to him was Mike Tomlin. Yeah. Another coach, just tremendous respect. Right. A Hall of Fame level coach. But I think he's going to get that team to another level this year. I hope so. After that disappointing finish. So if you go Peyton, I'll go Mike Tomlin. All right, cool. Yeah. I just, uh, they're, they're both men's men, motivators, old school. Their teams are always physical. They don't ever get the credit they deserve. And like you said, Sean Payton is one of the best offensive minds we've ever seen in football. Mike Tomlin, you know, I don't understand it. I mean, he's he's one of the best coaches we've seen over the last 20 or 25 years. I mean, yeah. all, they're in the playoffs. They're on the doorsteps of the playoffs every year. He's been to two Super Bowls. I mean, he's just he's a phenomenal head co uh, head football coach, so I'm with you there all the way. Yeah, both of those coaches, you, you watch them in any kind of situation. If you're around them live, you walk away thinking, I wish I wish I at some point yeah. would have been on one of his teams. Right, right. Uh, they definitely have kind that aura that, about you, them. You just would give anything to have them believe in yeah, you. Yeah, 100%. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.